country bass solo. Today I've got a country bass solo for you that might surprise you. This country bass line was recorded in 1968 and it has a bass solo. Now the song was recorded in 1968 on a six string Dyna electro bass and if you're not familiar with who played that, Carol Kay played that back in the day and this guy recorded with Carol Kay in LA. They recorded from commercial jingles to top artists um, of the day, the Monkees. They recorded with the with Bob Dylan on some of his songs and the Birds as well. So they this crew this they consider themselves the Wrecking Crew, this session musician ensemble, and they recorded on a lot of stuff and they worked together a lot. The particular song was one of his top hits, and the songwriter is Jimmy Webb as he wrote a lot of songs for this gentleman and they did a lot of stuff but the song this it it includes a bass solo and back in 1968 we're thinking all right bass solo that's you know that's rare very rare at that time it's glenn campbell and it's wichita lineman they were in a hurry to get this song out and jimmy webb wrote the song in like hours and he got it to glenn campbell and delroy the producer and he got to a third verse Jimmy Webb said he wasn't done yet. They said, well, give us what you got and we'll work with it. So he had two verses down. The third verse was empty. And that's when Glenn Campbell said, okay, give me, he took Carol Kay's bass, the Dyna Electro six string and played a bass solo in there. So this bass solo is actually Glenn Campbell playing it. Carol Kay is actually playing the bass line. And she gives the intro. She gives the intro. She plays the whole bass line. Just the bass solo is Glenn Campbell. He took the bass and said, let's put this in there for this third verse. Check it out, Wichita Lineman. And I'll dig into it now. It's just creative genius because it starts off, you know, a lineman back in the day, Wichita Lineman, you're out, you're hundreds of miles, you know, you're out in no man's land. And this is kind of reached home to Glenn Campbell, touched home with him because he was on the road and just gone from his family. So it, you know, it was pretty touching to him when he read the song, the first lines and stuff like that. It was just, you know, it hit home with him as well. So that's why how he was able to put so much emotion into it and create such a just phenomenal um, movement here because it's, you know, it's not your standard country song. Like I say, a lot of the stuff that I put out here, they're not your standard country songs and they're definitely stuff you want to learn because it just helps you arrange your own country music and just let you know and see what you can do you're not stuck to just the one four five and you can these phenomenal chord progressions that just are moving and that's what they did with this song it starts off in f major but it moves to the um, relative minor d d minor and then it stays there typically it would resolve you know typically in music you want to you know, you put people out there and then you bring them back. You know, you resolve back to the the root note, the, you know, where it just feels comfortable. The resolution just comes back to where it feels comfortable. But in this song, it stays in D minor, which leaves the, you know, the linemen still out there and just leaves you hanging like that and just, you know, just what they're going through. And the song actually leaves you there too. It just stays in D minor and ends in D minor. It doesn't doesn't bring you back to the app and bring you home. So it's that's what kind of helped this song touch so many people. Like I say, emotional. That's where if you can t write music that touches people emotionally, that moves people. That's what you want. So that's what this did. And like I said, in 1968, it's um, it was definitely ahead of its time, and it kind of pushed the pop country. Kind of brought those two together. And that's where we're at today. So the baseline is, I know I can see the comments and everybody's blah, 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 you know, just this and that. But the baseline, it's just an interesting song. Just some, you know, just look back at those musicians and think of these guys that, you know, like I say, he's passed now and probably, you know, he definitely got his to do on everything he did. But for the younger generation, he's probably forgotten about. This song is probably forgotten about. But it's, you know, it's definitely something that, if you're a younger musician, you're starting out, then this is definitely one you want to listen to and just learn it, and just break it down because it's um, it's music. It's you know teaches you music. It's music theory, and it's just utilizing all the tools of that to make this song. Which you know the younger musicians you might not know that you're just basically the one five and just move around the one four and five and you kind of run you almost you never run out of ideas melodies are forever but you know you can create a little thicker arrangement 
um, eight bar phrases and stuff like that will help you your improvement your improvising your songwriting that much more okay so that's what they've done here and like I said we start off it's in the key of F major and it moves to the D D minor relative minor through like the first first verse I think it comes right in it's pretty much goes into the D minor really soon in the song and it's really three verses there's just just way to look at this is just it's three long verses there's no chorus or anything like that but it's just three long verses and then it fades it fades out on like a bridge but it's really just repeats part of the second half of that verse okay of the verses the b flat to c so the intro is carol k comes right in she does that and that's just going to be b flat a f D, C, um, I'm sorry, yep, C to F. And then she keeps that, that standard country rhythm, bomb, 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 bomb. You know, she just does that, but just does it twice. And then it does it again. comes into the verse B flat B flat and he goes up to the A or she goes up to the A and then walks down to the A the 5 and the A she, she utilizes the 1 and the 5 in this in this bass line which you want to do when you're doing country bass lines so she utilizes the A the octave A here to the E to the A right here and then it goes to the the five chord progression is going to be the four three five six three two and then it goes six the five and then it gets a little passing tone the half step and then to the four and it comes down to the three and then it goes let me see three and it goes to the B flat and the C the four and the five four and a five okay so quite a long chord progression I like I say it's eight bar phrase so it is long it's not your you know it's nothing standard but it's interesting just the way it moves and that song is just beautiful Glenn Campbell was something else definitely something else guitar player great guitar player song and just singer you know just just good stuff and I've got other videos by him I got Southern Night check that video out here that bass line real funky and everything else so back to the song we are we start on the four, the B flat, and then we do the little octave to the A, A, E, A, which is the three, and then we go to the five, which is C, and then it comes to the then it comes to the six, three, two, which is D A G, okay? And then it goes, it holds a little bit on the G there for maybe a bar, and then it comes to the C. We start like the second half of this verse right there on the C and then we go this is when we're walking down we do we're walking down to the B to B flat which that passing down he uses that in the bass solo which is cool um, and I won't you know so this is just the bass line I'll give you some ideas right here she goes C to the B flat I mean to the B then to the B flat and then to the A hold on the A okay and then it comes back to the B flat the C the B flat the C and then it repeats that it holds on that C for a little bit and then it repeats it again okay now that's the first verse right there the second verse just repeat that over the third time when you're on this C he goes into the bass solo starting on F Right there is just going to be the first phrase of the bass solo F G A B flat G B flat C and the second time F G B flat A F C okay so now it does a cool little lick that's it that's the whole bass solo right there but it goes so then you go to C D to 
C, the octave there. And then to D, C, D, B, A, G, A, okay? entire solo right there and it goes back to the second half of the verse starting on the C um, and then the B B flat A okay and that's the entire song now if you want me to there's there's very few licks in there she does the, she does do a little bit there but there's not a lot you can probably figure that out on your own if not send me a comment I'll be glad to break down the whole, entire bass on but I just want to get into that bass solo for you but that is it's so interesting like I say um they're in the key of F, which you've got the B flat, but here he utilizes that B, and man, it just sounds so, or the B right here, and it just sounds so nice using that. It's just as a passing tone. It's not, um, you know, part of the chord progression or part of the chord, but it's just, you know, it just sounds, it just gives that song just that feeling, just still that minor feeling, you know, um, so that's that's it right there that is the bass line of wichita lineman definitely check that song out it's a great one and it'll just add to your abilities um, just the knowledge of knowing how that all works out the chord progressions you can use those chord progressions in some of your stuff if you want to write something like that um, just the idea going from the f and then you know starting off on major and then going right to minor and just hanging out in minor there's so much you can do in music and there's there's no right or wrong it's just whatever you know appeals to you okay so hope you got some value out of that if you did check out this video i've got on southern nights and i've got a whole country playlist here as well so check those out and i'll see you there in that video